welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of us my subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to stylish niger youtube channel okay so if you are new to stylish niger channel you are welcome you are very very welcome and if you have not subscribed please subscribe and then also hit on the bell on the side to get an update whenever i upload a new video okay so in today's video is a very simple video well, I'm going to be showing you how to cut a triangle peplum so you can see the picture up there. So this um, triangle peplum is actually different from a handkerchief and peplum. So I just want you to, it is actually cut differently. So today I will show you how to cut this just in case you want to take up your peplum games of that. And if you don't want to go with the conventional peplum, you can actually try this on a dress. So it's a simple process. So, and let's get started. So I have my fabric. So I folded my fabric into four, just the same way you fold your, your peplum. When you want to cut your peplum or your flay, you fold into four. Okay, so before I continue. Okay, so if you want to register for our online classes, so you can see my number scrolling through the screen. You can send me a message on WhatsApp. So presently, we have about seven different classes that are running, that are going to be running for this month. We have the Igbo Madame blouse. That's a padded blouse. For those of you that want to learn how to sew padded blouses, you can send me a message. And then we have a ready-to-wear class. For those of you that want to go into ready-to-wear business, to buy Ankara to sew and sell online, you can register for that class. And then for a corset class, if you want to learn how to sew a perfect corset, you can also register for that class. And then the trouser and a jumpsuit class, if you want to learn how to sew a trouser and a jumpsuit. And then we have an intermediate class for people that want to, that are stepping up a little bit and then we have the beginners classes for the foundation those people that are just coming into sewing and then we have an advanced class for people that can sew already so these are the different classes that we have presently okay so now let's get started like i said i folded my fabric into four so you can actually sew this and cut it however you want to if you want to use the peplum formula to cut your your flay you can use that so the first thing I'm going to measure is the length of the peplum. So the, the what you are going to use to measure the length is a triangle part. That's the center front. That's the longest part. So for this, I have about 17 inches. So I'm just going to mark the 17. I'm going to mark it round. Let me get the, the full round length first before I cut out the center. I'm going to cut it out now. So like I said, you cut it the normal way you cut out your paper. So the next thing I'm going to insert my radius. I'm going to use three inches. So you use your radius formula. For those of you, if you don't know how to cut a perfect flay, I'm going to drop the link in the description box for you to follow. Okay, so I've cut out my flay now. So you see, you can see this is my regular, normal flay. So you can see how beautiful it is. So I'm going to fold it now for us to turn into the triangle peplum. Okay, to cut the triangle part now. So here's what you are going to do. So you are going to get the center part of your... This is the center of my flay. 
I already cut out green. This is the center. So you are going to determine how deep you want the sides to be. So for this, I'm going to come up with about three, between three and 3.5 inches. So this is the center. So I'll mark my 3.5 inches here. So literally what I'm going to do now, use this as a guide. From this place, I'll slope it downwards here. And then from this part, I'll slope it downwards to the back. So that's just like a very simple way of doing this. So I'll bring it to the tip. So I'm sloping it to the tip. So I want you to note, I'm going to change this. So I'm, I'm like back flipping, it's not slow, so I made a mistake there, so please take notes. So I'm like, I'm back flipping it. As if, because if you slope it down like this, if you bring it down straight, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's not going to be, it will not have that curve. So that's what I'm trying to explain. So I'll take it like this. I'll, in order to have the curve on the side, so I need to create the curve like this. So please, I want you to note that. So from this part now, I'm going to do the same thing now on this part. I hope you can. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to do. So you see the way it is coming. And actually try this on the pattern first before you, you you transfer to your fabric so i'm going to cut now. I'm going to open it now so you see so you see how it is looking so at the end of the day so you see how, how it is looking so like I said this is not a try this is not a an handkerchief flame so it is cut differently so you see how this one is looking So I'm going to place it on the mannequin for you to see it properly. Okay, so at the end of the day, so you could see how it is looking. So you see the sides. So all you are just going to do is you open up the back and then you add your zip to the back bars and you cut it open and then add your zip to the back piece. So you could see how it is looking. So you see it came out beautifully well. So this is how you actually cut a triangle of flay. Like I said, this is different from a handkerchief flay. Thank you so much. So I'll see you in my next video.